Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Daryl Guberman, CEO of Guberman PMC LLC, a quality consulting firm here in Connecticut. This video today is about China arms exports face sharp decline due to defective quality and unreliable performance. That sounds like Lockheed Martin. <laughs> Why? Because of this. QI expert Daryl Guberman explains it is because of ANSI, ANAB, IAF and their relationship with those organizations. In 2015, let me just show you a real quick snippet here. ANSI, the American National Standards Institute, is a private, not-for-profit, non-governmental corporation that has both federal agencies and corporations on board. In 2015, you have a Mr. Randy Dodery who was the vice president of ANAP and he was the chairman and principal on their 990 tax report of the International Accreditation Forum Incorporated in Delaware. He had a member, well, he was from 2009 to 2015. It's a six year term of duty. He handed over leadership to this communist Chinese national, Zhao Jinwu, who at the time was the chief executive of the China National Accreditation Services Incorporated in Beijing, China. And he was standing in 2017 issuing to the BioLevel 4 laboratory that released the COVID virus uh, in Wuhan, China. He was also involved with our quality since 1994, ladies and gentlemen. So there's an alliance here between this, this deep cover guy between 94 and present that he was around. At the time, 2017, when he was standing in Wuhan, China, you had Randy Dory, who was being advertised in the Department of Homeland Security. Why? Because at that time, they had a Mr. Phil Matheson, uh, who was a quality manager, standard, whatever the hell it is. He was getting $262,000 getting paid for being a member on ANSI's, I guess, director at large. And he was a member. And he was $262,000 and change royalty payment, which meant he didn't have to pay taxes from what I've understood. The IRS has no comment on this mess. He was also getting his federal salary. So you had Randy sitting there with his communist Chinese national who was mandated by China to take DHS's data through the China National Intelligence Law, Article Number 7. So you think these guys knew each other? You think they passed materials? Who knows? Only the shadow knows. <laughs> well, anyway, during that time, the DHS did get hacked by China and the other federal agencies that sit on ANSI's board as members. So China has a problem with quality. Why? It's very easy. They picked up their lead being, uh, uh, you know, the chairman of the IAF, picked up his lead of quality and its destruction. <laughs> Here it is. Zhao Jinwu picked up that information and ran with it to China. And what happened is those quality practices and principles from ANSI ANAP is showing very nicely over in China and it's also showing here in America. When you have Lockheed Martin, our number one aerospace company, sitting on the International Accreditation Forum during this guy's term of duty, 2015 to 2021, let me tell you this, 2009, Lockheed Martin gets hacked by no other than China, taking the F-35. In, 2000, in 2012, a division of United Technologies, Sikorsky Aircraft, gets hacked by China, taking the Blackhawk, Seahawk, etc. In 2015, Lockheed Martin goes to purchase Sikorsky, and in the Connecticut Mirror, it states, with China's okay, Lockheed Martin closes in on the purchase of Sikorsky aircraft, and you have the four representatives, can you say, I don't know, whatever they are, Deloro, Rosa Deloro, Jim Himes, Christopher Murphy, and Daryl Richard Blumenthal all compliment Lockheed Martin for working with an international regulator to process this mess, working with communist China, our politicians. If you look at the disbursements list that Lockheed has for all 50 states, you'll find Democrats and Republicans on board. So you can bitch and moan all you want. Those politicians don't give a flying fuck about you. Not at all. Look at in Connecticut, we have seven representatives, supposedly. I only know the four good ones. The four good ones, meaning the four, the good ones are their names are always in the public, uh, public view. 
They're not good. They're far from being good. They get supplemented with a Lockheed Martin uh, disbursement, okay? So it helps grease their hand when it comes to appropriations of failing programs like the F-35, where you have Lockheed Martin producing 800, on the 801st F-35, they're still producing uh, rejections up to and including loss of aircraft and loss of pilot. So with China, they're producing shit. Lockheed Martin, a number one aerospace company producing shit, plus they're a littoral battleship as a trash type of uh, battleship. It's, it's, it's supposed to be a swift boat. Yeah, swift boat, swiftly sinking. That's exactly it. We spend money on bullshit programs. Our congressmen and senators do not do anything for the public view. Nothing at all. And it's absolutely disgusting. So I'm not in the fact of being pro-China. Uh, I was asked to join, as a matter of fact, either ANAP or the IAF or both in 2016 by Randy Dodry. But how in good conscience as a proud American could I do that and go on there? Because not only that, ANSI and ANAP, as I showed you before, they sat on the IF. So even if I joined ANAP, it's still affiliated with, at that time, a CCP national, Zhao Jinwu, uh, that is absolutely unbelievable. I'm going to leave it here. China's fucked with their quality because they learned all their methodologies from ANSI ANAP and their faulty accreditation. They will say it's the best. You'll have people like Emslar or Quality Cove or whatever the hell it is say it's mandated. That's because, you know what they will really say? And I'm gonna tell you because I've heard it before. They'll say, Daryl, I know it's a scam, but I'm making a lot of money. That's exactly what they said. ANSI ANAB, the registrars do not give you support. And if they do, the auditor will say to you, really, I'm not supposed to do this. I'm not a consultant, but I'll tell you, you should do it this way. Oh my God, yes. And they all are biting the freaking Kool-Aid. That's it. So. I will say this and I'll leave it here. It is easier to believe a lie that one has heard a thousand times than to believe a fact no one has heard before. That was from Thomas Paine. And I will tell you the final thing. Anyone who is ANAB accredited, roll that certificate and stick it right up where the sun doesn't shine because Daryl, I got a good rapport with the auditor. Daryl, I got a... That's what I hear. Daryl, I have to take the road of least resistance. When I hear these words, those are not businessmen. In fact, one of those guys who said that, said that to me when I first started out. Daryl, we have to take the road of least resistance. Well, guess what? Here it is. I've been in business now going on 13 years. When they said that, four years later, they closed their doors. You know why? Because that's not a businessman. You know what that is? A very easy quality word that you should understand. A pussy, that's what that is. A businessman stands up, a businesswoman stands up and be uh, is counted. They do not follow the stream, but now with the COVID shot, who the fuck knows? <laughs> Brain fog. You'll find all the data down below. I apologize for the length of this video. And the language, all of it came from ANSI, especially when Russ Cheney, the chairman in 2019, called me up on the phone and said, half a nut, fuck you, because I exposed an impropriety in quality in laboratory. And it comes to pass because look, the COVID virus escaped from a lab where you had Pamela Sale say, okay, in China, where Pamela Sale said on deposition in Texas, the, the, C, the um, <clears throat> vice president of quality, she said, from one laboratory to another, there's our variances. Oh my God, the voices I hear when these guys talk and gals talk, the ones who are ANSI, ANAP, how should we say? Half a nut fuckers. That's it. That's for you, Russ. Half a nut fuckers. Thank you very much. You think that's not professional? What is professional nowadays? Write it down below. Let me know. Thanks.